Good afternoon. Uh, so to answer today's question, yes. Everyone is online hanging out without you. So I'm going to talk about some ways where uh, you can join in on some of those online communicate, uh, communities and uh, get beyond your library walls. Uh, so this is Meetup. How many of you do have libraries on Meetup? Just hands. I don't have cool paddles. OK, not very many. All right, how many of you do paper flyers or paper bookmarks, any type of paper marketing? OK, everybody. All right, keep your hands up. Of those, how many of you take the flyers beyond your information desk or bulletin board inside the library? Some hands went down, but that's good. That's, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna take the time to do paper, at least get it out there. Uh, so this isn't necessary, oh, and you can put your hands down now, thank you. <laughs> um, I like to think of social media as yes and, and not either or. Uh, same thing with Meetup, uh, you know, it doesn't replace uh, Goodreads or Facebook, it's just a different way to target an audience, and it's, um, <laughs> Sorry, I was getting a time message here. Uh, it um, has a wonderful focus. Meetup is about events, and a lot of the things you probably are making flyers for right now are events rather than services or the library as a whole. So uh, one of the great advantages of uh, Meetup is, you know, as someone mentioned earlier, little, very little traction when you post to Facebook about events. So just because it's the biggest audience, you know, we often say on my marketing team, Facebook is where events go to die. So unless you do pay to play and and don't let the pace scare you because you can spend ten dollars and reach thousands and thousands of people, and um, you know a click through rate of eight cents. So, um, but Meetup is also um, a great option because you don't have to pay to um, pl play your events. Um, if you ha are going to have small memberships, it's uh, free to join and test out. Um, And uh, the advantage of it is you can uh, reach people who have never been to the library f before. And probably on Facebook, most people aren't going to see your event or your post unless they've already liked the library. But on Meetup, they're going to see, okay, this Meetup group is about um, farm to fork. So I am interested in that, I'm going to join it. And it turns out it's hosted by the library. So um, one of the things we've done here is consistently brand on Meetup, uh, but that's the system-wide role in it. Really, we turn it over to the library staff to let them post their own events. So they have control over um, this platform and there's no uh, barrier through to going through Com to post just like they would to their online calendar. But the true advantage is it's going so far beyond our walls, our virtual walls even, because it's not people who are already fans of the library on Facebook or website visitors. Um, so it's a very powerful word of mouth. So uh, this is one of our examples. It's still a pilot. We just started in February. Uh, and we are using Meetup Pro after a three months free trial. It's only a cost of $15 uh, per group um, that lets us then have unlimited members. So um, you can see that it's not tied to a location. Probably many of your flyers are um, location specific. But for Meetup, we found that people really engage around themes, and then they're willing to travel to different places for the event. So we have a crafting one, we have a yoga one. Um, it also lets you gauge interest, because when we rolled out our farm to fork one, um, we found that 300 people joined within the first few days. So uh, we knew then, OK, our gardening clubs, our um, community gardens, there's really an interest there. Our cooking classes. Uh, so we should develop more programming there, which is something that Meetup let us learn. Um, also talking about the uh, word of mouth marketing. I, word of mouth marketing is the most effective. Why do you think that is? Because trust, thank you. Because you trust that person, it's someone you know, it's more credible. And social media and Meetup, they really make it easy for word of mouth to happen, even if it's not literally talking through your mouth, you can see, you know, my friend is in this Meetup group, my friend is in these other Meetup groups, this, my friend is RSVP'd to this event, um, so it's a big advantage. 
So, um, and you'll see each one does have a um, common look and feel, um, which is something that you can do even if you don't get Meetup Pro, and I would recommend you do. You heard a lot about branding today, and um, the definition of branding I like the best is it's everything about the patron experience. It's the customer service to the look and feel. No one ever is ever going to say, oh, you know, I walked into your library and I noticed you're using Futura font here, but this is a serif font over here. You're not going to hear that, but if you think people are immune to branding, how many people prefer Coke to Pepsi? How many people prefer Pepsi? You're welcome. But, uh, uh, so, you know, studies have shown that 80% of you would be able to tell the difference but not identify which is which in the taste test because of branding. So um, it does work, um, and you can still uh, have something that has a unique look and feel, um, but it's consistent and true to your brand. And it does raise the high, you know, the high tide raises all boats. So if your meetup page looks sharp, if when you walk into the front lobby of your building it looks sharp, people are going to think that your staff have more expertise and professionalism um, than if you don't pay attention to the, these details too. Uh, so this is one case study uh, that shows that um, we really do get beyond our walls with uh, Meetup and different online communities. Every single person who attended this open mic series that was hosted by one of our libraries uh, was new to the library and had was not a regularly coming to the, any other library events or a library user. Um, the uh, librarian, Amber Clark, will be presenting at CLA, a poster session, if you want to learn more. But it's a great tool for engagement, besides just seeing who of your friends are going. The librarian can engage with the people making comments. You can see somebody who said, thanks for creating this opportunity for the local creative folk to strut their stuff. Uh, people can post their own photos and images. The librarian doesn't have to do it, and then it's there for the whole group. So. Um, you know, you can see this has 300 members, and, and you know, you should take that number with a grain of salt. There's not 300 people coming every time. You know, the attrition rate is maybe something like 25% anytime you have people RSV online, RSVP online, whether it's Meetup or Facebook, uh, because the barrier is low to enter. But, um, you know, we are trying to, just like with Pokemon Go, show we're not. Uh, the traditional library anymore and that we're a place for engagement. So even just raising awareness of we have an open mic night is a worthwhile thing, even if these people never come in and are, remain virtual patrons. So, let's see. Um, we have one more case study that we want to share. Um, but before... I leave you um, on Meetup. I do want to just give you um, a picture of where we are since starting in February. So Alt Library has, um, you know, you're going to see it has really blazed the way in terms of being an innovative uh, library program. But it um, had about 1,800 members. And so that was really all we had on Meetup. Uh, now that we've gone system-wide with it, we have um, close to 3,000 people. So just in a matter of months, only having six total meetup groups, um, we have um, doubled our the, the number of people that we were reaching on meetup through the library. So I think it's something that it's worth um, trying. It gives you a very targeted audience to talk to about events um, and programs so that you're not just throwing stuff out there on Facebook or Twitter, which is going to be less relevant to those audiences, even though they're bigger audiences. So, all right, I'm going to turn it over to Bryce.